All right, guys, so we're going to have a uh, few short videos uh, rapid fire. I'll probably actually hold them until I can put them all up. Instead of splicing them together, I think it's just going to work better to do them individually uh, because each of the, the things I'm doing now, I know you're going to want to see, and none of them take that long to really explain. So um, let's just give you a quick reminder where we're at and also show you a mistake I made. It wasn't a big mistake, but it would be good to think about in the future. I see that turned on super high speed right there. Um, and I did that to show you, it makes the pipe float. And what I did on the other side, I had the, uh, the stand-up pipe in. And uh, what happened was when I went ahead and put the lava rock on, a couple of the pipes kind of stuck up their tips and got some rock under them. And I didn't get quite the flat false bottom I was looking for. It'll, it'll work just fine. But you can see what I did over here. I went ahead and pulled that uh, thing all out together. So I was running that full tilt bore to see... Uh, what we could do and also to try to help cool the water a little bit and we'll let it return now what happened was another thing i learned it's about 105 degrees right now so without the dirt on top of this when i got that lava rock in there and that sun was beating on it i was actually heating the water while it was circulating so i killed the circulation here this shows exactly where the water level is holding and this is the big thing i want to show you this is kind of why you want your lava rock trying to get close so you can see it see how the water is just at the top and the, the rock piece here and piece there sticks above the top of the water that's kind of where you want it you see what i'm talking about the pipe there like that pipe kind of heaved up a little bit on the other side we'll let that water go all the way down to the uh, bulkhead we'll go ahead and put our excluder pipe on right here and once we get that excluder pipe on then we'll go ahead and uh, drop in the first layer of lava rock once we get the first layer of lava rock on top of the pipe we we'll get to start bringing the water level back up. Um, so that's just a little suggestion there. The way I do this, this is just standard weed blocker. And I just kind of take it and shove the ends in. And it's hard to do one handed, so I'll put it back when I turn the camera off. But I shove all the ends in behind the gravel. And then here I needed two, so all I do is just cut a strip. You see, I did that, just go around that pipe. And the other piece did the same thing. And that way you got a nice overlay around your pipe and this just helps keep a stratification layer keep your roots out so what's going to happen next i'm going to put a layer of expanded shale down i'll come back once i get that in place that'll be a really quick video but just to show you what this stuff is if you've never seen it before it's basically shale that's been puffed like popcorn it's really really super light and it, it retains water and it wicks water so that'd be a great layer to exist between this uh, weed blocker and the next layer up and you can see this weed blocker as soon as you put your hands on it water just seeps through so as soon as we have weight on it it'll let that water seep through to wick up into the system so again we're gonna end up with about six inches of lava rock about two inches of expanded shell and then uh that leaves us with a uh, 13 inches of soil and then about an inch of mulch on the top with the depth of these trays so these should be really good wicking beds i'll catch back up with you like i said uh Probably just check down in the video notes. I'm going to try to uh, save these videos up till they're all in one shot and we'll uh, get them all online at one time.